but it's hearts that are hungry for the way God is blowing right now. And I'm thrilled with that. And I think he rejoices over that. And what I've been sensing for a long time, and I, I just really feel God is ready to do, is that Eagles, the organization of Eagles Win, World Intercessors Network Incorporated, is to birth a location in the north gate of Dallas where we can do this type of thing on a continuous basis. We will have international prayer on a continuous basis and training in many different areas. This, this whole city and region is full of many nations. Yes. Many, many nations. And they need to come together in one place, receive additional training and this kind of worship, take it back to their own churches, take it back to their own fellowships, and strengthen the house of God across this city. Because they're growing in the Lord and being strengthened in a flow of the Spirit. The way the Lord began to really deal with me, he's been talking to me about this for several years. In fact, he brought me here from Hawaii in 2005 and said, build me a headquarters. And now I think this is the season that we are to do it. Literally, it will be a tabernacle of his glory, just like tonight has been. But it's holy ground. And the Lord gave me a viewing point over the last few months that he hadn't showed me before. You, you know how God gives you a vision and then he starts adding to it so you get a better understanding of what he's talking about. And at a meeting over in North Richland Hills, and my brother remembers, the Lord really dealt with me. In fact, you don't even know how inspirational you were that night, sir. But he came up to me and he said, you remind me of Fuchsia Pippin. I don't know how many of you know Fuchsia Pippin. I knew about her. But in the north gate of Dallas, she had what was called Fountain Gate. And then the couple that was hosting the event, they looked it all up for me, and I got the lowdown on what, what it was really all about. And Fuchsia, I, I had seen her one time in Atlanta at an end time handmaidens conference years ago. But her ministry was birthed into revelation out of the word. She had almost died, was taken into a Pentecostal service, was literally raised from the dead, completely healed in a split second, and filled with the Holy Ghost. Praise God. And from that point on, she was no longer just an incredible teacher of the Word. She became a woman of revelation, and she wrote many books. And she had a building, and so I talked about it, we found out, I found out where the building is. And the building was over on Custer, just north of George Bush, and it was called Fountain Gate. And the Lord has told me again and again, open up an old well, open up an old well. I'm ready to open up an old well. Yeah. And so if I ask your prayers. I, I went to the location. I'm, I'm going to tell you, and some of you are think, oh yeah, that wild little woman. Okay, this is what honestly happened. As soon as they sent me where the address was, I jumped in my jeans, got in my car, and I drove straight to it. It's only 20 minutes from my house. <laughs> I drove right into the parking lot. There was a beautiful white church with a high steeple, about medium size. And there was a building that I saw 35 years ago in the spirits. Whoa. And the Amen. Lord said, one day that building joined. Hallelujah. Glory. Amen. Amen. The Lord told me, don't get out of the car and don't take a picture. Just keep praying. So I obeyed God. Later, I tried to go by there and find it again. And then I had my friend from D from Atlanta came in and I said, okay, you drive the car. I'm going to go back and find that building. There's nothing but a solid brick wall and houses. That building is no longer there. God showed it to me in the spirit. And he said, this is that. So I feel there's a location just south of George Bush along that north gate right there because I believe we're supposed to have a Dallas address that is going to be the opening of a well that is going to pour the living water of God and to thousands and thousands who will come in and then be ministered to by those that come in and receive. we got to get into this rippling out effect. But this is my very heart. 
And I told the Lord, and those of you who know me in my meetings, I forget all about taking an offer, and I, I just, I get caught up with the Holy Ghost. I just figure Father's going to take care of me. So I asked him this morning, I said, you've got to show me what to do with this. And he said, you make out an invitation, and they can choose to partner with you. If you want to start giving monthly on any level, I don't care if it's $5, $10, $25, $50, 100 I don't care. You hear God. Think about it. Pray about it, even as the service goes on. But if you want a part of the action of taking the North Gate of Dallas and join with us, and there are others that are joining with me, Joshua will be there to counsel. Olga's going to be opening up training for Hispanics. We've got other people that are going to be coming in. These are ministers under me, and then they're going to be teaching there. It's going to literally be a training center Amen. for the house of prayer in the midst of it. Amen. It's going to be holy ground. When I had a prayer chapel in Florida, I would have people that would drive on the property and they couldn't even get out of their cars. Hmm. Someone would finally come in. I had some young people and they said, have you ever felt this before? <laughs> they're getting ready to go on a mission trip and I said, you mean you haven't? <laughs> and you're going halfway around the world? And this is the point of my heart. This is my heart. I want to see the anointing of the Lord poured into the youth of this city. I want to see young families healed and restored. I want houses all over this city. You see this picture up here? We got that picture on the PowerPoint. We're going to get this. Wait, we should got to do a double duty. I want you to see this. You're going to punch it up on the PowerPoint. God gave me this. Thirty-some years ago when I was stationed in Germany. And now is the season to get this done. Now you can see it up there. I want to tell you what this represents. This represents the darkness and the barrenness of the earth we live in right now. Yeah. The sun is not coming up. The sun is setting. We're almost out of time. And these are houses where the Holy Spirit is abiding in that house. And people are coming to pray and to learn and to grow and literally finding family around a coffee table. We're going to need one another. And I believe these are the two moves of the Spirit right now. We're going to have houses of prayer and we're going to have a place of celebration. And so I want to build a place of celebration in the North Gate. The Lord said build it up on the hill, you know, and let the light shine so the city can see it. Well, I don't know how much of a hill I can get in North Texas, but I'll tell you what. <laughs> this is what I want to see done. Yeah. I've held this vision for the Lord for all these years. And the Lord says, now. Now. Amen. So if you're in and you feel like the Lord's leading you, then I invite you to sign these sheets, take a sheet, pray about it, and do whatever God tells you to do. Uh, this is where I am. I'm being very honest with you. What the Lord does this night in this place will legitimately tell me that in another week we can go look for property. I'm not going to go off the deep end and get something of incredible stuff. I want a beginning. Because once we have a beginning, we can grow and we can spread out. Yes, Lord. Yeah. I don't do things expensively, but I do things with excellence. Yes. Amen. Because that's the call of God. Yes. And so if you want to be a part of an excellent project, I just invite you to get on board and then come by every time we have the doors open and be a part of what God's doing. I want every nation in this city to wind up coming onto that land. Yes. And receiving presence of the Lord. So you guys, if you guys are just, raise your hand if you want a blue sheet. If you want a blue sheet, the girls will hand you one. And while we're doing that, I'm going to ask Joni to come up. This is Pastor Joni Hinckley. And she has a word. And she's going to get right up to date with me and get her words right off the left.